I want to welcome you back to Black Site. We're going to take, talk about H.R. 40, the Commission to Study Reparations. And this bill is a scam. This bill is just to make the African American and ADOS movement feel like the Democrat Party is actually doing something. Let's take a look at the basic of the bill. It's sponsored by Sheila Jackson Lee. The House Judiciary Committee. It goes under a subcommittee, a House Judiciary Committee for Civil Rights. Now you look at look at the summary right here. 2019, 2020. There is no summary. If there's no summary, they're not taking this damn bill seriously. In progress. If the bill was taken seriously, you would have the summary and you wouldn't have to wait for it being in progress. The latest actions of this bill was one, January 3rd, 2019. This bill should have been up every year. But you have to understand, this bill is only up to try to stave off the ADOS movement. This bill is a scam. This bill is the same bill that Nancy Pelosi talked about when she was speaking at her weekly press conference. She's there for a commission to study reparations. I don't think we need a commission to study reparations. We have all the information we need. If you just go over to the African American Museum in Washington, D.C., if you pick up a few books, if you read your own history, all we need is for everybody is to start getting a digital calculator and start adding up how much you owe ADOS in America. But no. They're going to start, you, you know what a commission is? People who sit around for four, five, six years don't basically come out with an answer. Then they'll say, uh, let's discuss it more and maybe put it in front of another committee. And it doesn't pass and it goes by the wayside. This is the games that the Democrat Party is playing headed by Pelosi and the CBC, the Congressional Black Caucus, and Sheila Jackson Lee. I haven't heard Sheila Action Jackson Lee give out a true explanation of reparations. She's spending all her time on freaking DACA and the rest of the C CBC. I know when you're trying to play games on me, okay? I can look at this proposal from the front page and see that this is some BS. And they're not taking this seriously. All they're worried about is satisfying the taste for any kind of bill that has reparations on it to make sure you get out and vote for the Democrat candidate in 2020. That's all this is. This is how they play games with the African American. See, if this was a bill on DACA, you would see the summary and everything. If you, this was a bill on the LGBT community, you would see a summary and everything else. You just wouldn't see 31 co-sponsors. You would see the whole Democrat caucus signed up for the bill. But this tells you that they're not taking us seriously. And I'm tired of them running a scam on an African-American community talking about we gonna put up a bill for a damn commission to study. They don't put up a bill to con uh, commission to study them damn fools running across the border. We got, this is history. This is all written down. This has been talked about. We don't need a study. What we need is some payments. You need to cut that damn check and you need to cut it now. And the CBC is not leading the charge. 
What the hell is they leading the charge on? DACA. You talking about having politicians who don't work in the interest of our community. That whole caucus should be wiped out, replaced by people who want to get something done and get reparations for our community. Have you seen any of them come out all together and say, our number one issue is to receive reparations for our people? No, you haven't. But you see them all come out standing behind Pelosi for this damn DACA crap and this damn LGBT community crap. I'm tired. I'm tired of the commissions and the studies. Oh, who you gonna put on the commission? I, I guess you, Angela Rye, Simone Sanders, Joy Reid. What, Sheila Jackson Lee? Al Sharpton? Mark Thompson, the, the damn minister? You gonna put him on there too? But you're not gonna put nobody on that commission that's leading the ADOS movement. Because you're too busy trying to get them in trouble. This is utterly ridiculous. These people have no shame. And this is how they just try and just push us away and just give us a trinket. See, here's the trinket, the bill. And hell, I haven't even heard them bring the bill up in front of Congress this year. They've been talking about everything else, but I didn't hear them bring that bill up for reparations. Nancy could bring it up tomorrow. She the speaker. Steady Hoyer is the majority leader. He could bring it up tomorrow. What about old James Uncle Ben Clyburn? It ain't gonna happen. They playing games with us, man. They playing games. This whole thing, this HR 40 is a scam. And we know it. See, them days is over when you could just write a little uh, uh, a little bill and say, see, see, this is what we got. Them days is over. We want action. We want some definitive on the table, and we want tangibles, and we want them now. Enough is enough. I want to thank you for listening to Black Site Underground News that you can use. I hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button. Hit that notification button. And share this video.